Hello lads and ladies and welcome back and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today we are off to Carlisle United against Leighton Orient. Yes, it's Skybet League One. No Fleetwood, no problem. Actually, there's no Fleetwood get in. On this channel, we cover League One as a whole. We do, you know, live, you know, Sunday roundups. We do a League One video every week. And today, we're off to go and see, you know, last year's playoff winners against last year's league winners in League Two. Um, you know, battle it off. It's 20th against 16th. Carlisle beat Bolton last week and have been in really good form lately. They've got some good points on the road away at Stevenage, away at Lincoln, you know, managed to get a point against Peterborough at home. Um, again, a couple of points at Fleetwood at home and Wigan at home this season as well. And Orient have, have done well lately as well. And they've had a lot of you know awful stuff you know happen with Derek at, at, at football matches recently. So my thoughts, my condolences is with everyone with Derek's family and Leighton Orient at this time. Um, but it's going to be a great game. Um, Leighton Orient. I think we'll kick on uh, in the table as well. And I think Carl United have a good chance of staying up this season. But if you are new and you are a League One fan or just love football in general, please like, please subscribe to this channel. We're so close now to 12,000 subscribers. Also, like the video. That would massively help this video. Can we try and go for 150 likes? That'd be appreciated. Let's get down to Brunton Park and watch some football. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow so I'm here at the ground now again. Carlisle has gone unchanged from their impressive victory at Bolton Wanderers just a couple, you know, just last week, which was a remarkable win. You know, Paul Simpson even said he's had more people come up to him this week than when they did at Wembley. So that says a lot about the victory last week. Unchanged 4-3-3. Um, you know, Gibson. Garner, Maguire in that front three. You've got Moxon in that midfield. Finn Baku, I put as the, the best under 23 20, player at this football club. It's a very, very talented team and you know, doing all right for themselves you know, in League One, especially recently. For Leighton Orient, they make one change. Um, Ethan Galbraith, who got sent off at Fleet just a couple of weeks ago, he's back into the team. 4 2 3 1. A front four. Piggott, Galbraith, Satoru, you know, all in that mix. It's a very, very talented team of Leighton Orient. You've got Doing well in League One. Unfortunately, obviously, didn't get the three points against Leighton Orient, but you know, the mat is there. You know, there's more important things outside of football, and you know, that proved the point just a couple of weeks ago. But Richie Williams is doing a good job with them and they're playing some good football. Now, I've been to this ground four times. Again, I came for a friendly a couple of years ago, you know, to watch Fleetwood. It was a 3 1 Fleetwood win. You know, one all in the JPT last year on Papa John's Trophy, one all at the start of the season. I think today we'll also be one all. Kind of 5-3-2 uh, early in the season. They're kind of a lot more emphasis on attacking now. The front three is helping them with wide play to a quick point. That two kind of in defensive midfield, three just in front and one up front. And four in the back, four, two, three, one. Kind of well. Until we win now. Damage, but that was dangerous. And give it kind 
Dan Hague before, and Chanter was well saved by Thomas Hoagley. They're on top here, Rory, and Carl Alderson to get through these next few minutes alive. Yeah, we've got well, it's been a really good game so far. I thought you kind of couple of good chances, but it's been Carl Alderson and Carl Alderson have been in the game usually. Yeah, they've been really well. Got contributions from Carl Alderson, 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 Car
I mentioned counter attack a lot again. If it comes to Pickett, who's been outstanding today, and again, he's a striker, he doesn't score many goals these days, but his performances in recent weeks has you know, been really good. He scored against Lincoln, obviously, does that count, doesn't it? Um, again, puts it across now, Mazzini. Again, we're brilliant, just why? Into the last 10 minutes, and all are valuable for their, you know, for the one they'll lead. You know, Carl Harvey have really been any, done anything in the second half, have really been the races, have been a little bit better, but Orient have defended really well. I look killer on that counter attack. Or to win 1 0 away from home, we don't care who you're playing. You can be playing Bolton, Carlisle, Wigan, anyone in League One, you've got to go through it. And you know, letting Orient go for a tough five minutes, and the Barbarians are at the gate. Oh, I'll pile on the pressure. You know, it's getting tough when you, you know, your freelance players, the players that you know, get the fans off the edge of the seat. John and Graham do the hard yards. Again, he's a magical player, gets assists out of absolutely nothing. Again, brilliant block. It's a corner ball in 88 minutes. Thank you.